Friday. It's me, Wendy, your fearless leader and colleague. Um, so I am sitting down for this video because I'm very serious. I'm kidding. Um, no, but I am going to go over a few serious topics um, and rolling out yet another wonderful tool for us to communicate. So um, really quick, this is definitely all for the clinical team. Um, I have created, so first of all, I want everyone to know that I am, my goal here is to make us the, the best facility that we can be, to be the provider of choice um, and really strive in what we do. Um, and I want everybody to know that there are a million things a day that I could fix and my work will never be done. Um, and as long as we're constantly improving and working on ourselves, the only direction we can go is up. So I want everybody to know that I love listening to your concerns. Um, it's important to me. Um, and I want to find resolutions to the things that cause conflict um, in our jobs, in our emotions, um, and our intentions. So what I've created is a grievance form. So you will be able to locate these um, at HR or my office or at the nurse's station and in the break room, okay? The grievance forms is simply an opportunity for you to let me know how you're feeling about something in particular. Is it um, a process that we have? Is it a person that you're continuously working with that you think could use some improvement? Is there an interaction that you saw between two other people that you're concerned about? Is it, um, you know, how your concerns about how a patient is being treated? Anything at all, I want you guys to utilize this, fill it out in confidence um, that I will address it and slide it under my door. So the reason I kind of created this was so that everybody knows that they're being heard. Um, I do believe that most of you feel comfortable sharing your concerns with me, um, but this also allows me to sort of compartmentalize my day and um, when I'm dealing with the grievances and concerns, um, sometimes it can be a little down uh, for me because I feel that, you know, there's always problems, like I said. Um, so this will give me the opportunity to kind of sit down, um, manage them all in a particular day or a time period. Um, and then have a written form of communication so that there's some um, documentation of what was said. And then my favorite part about these, you guys, is I ask for a recommended resolution. So if there's a problem or a situation or a grievance, how do you think that we can resolve this? What do you think, what is your input on this matter? What, what can the solution be? So please feel free to utilize that portion of this note. Um, slide them under my door. Um, and then again, this will also give accountability. So if I'm doing um, performance evaluations um, and there's a grievance against you or, um, you know, it's noticed that your residents are always, you know, laying in a puddle of, of urine in the morning, God forbid that ever happened, no. But um, I have some trackability too. So during performance evaluations, I can say, well, you know, these are some concerns that came up or um, et cetera. So it's, it's not necessarily to be, um, you know, like a bitch fest, pardon my language here, but we're all adults. But if you feel like you need to vent, utilize this too for that, okay? I just want to know the goings on around us. I want to know how you feel about things and I want to know, um, how you can contribute to process improvement, okay? So look for these, fill them out, know that your concerns are being heard and addressed. Um, grievance forms. <clears throat> um, moving on to our next topic, attendance. So this is a hot topic right now and I'm kind of excited for it because that means that we are in an, um, an era of our um, little building here where attendance is going to be um, managed and tracked and accounted for. So upon um, hire, everybody's assigned the employee attendance policy 
Um, and if you're not familiar with what you signed, go ahead and um, come by HR and ask for a copy. But what it does is it breaks down the, the points that you are allotted for attendance and which infarction carries how many points um, on based on the infarction that you have. So again, I won't read the specifics of it, but make sure you know it. Make sure you know the points that you are allotted. Make sure you know the points that you will be given in any of the circumstances that you may present with. Um, and know that you will be held accountable for this. Again, we are in a lovely position to where we are not having to use registry. We are not desperate for CNAs um, or nurses. We feel like we have a good solid crew here and we will continue to build on that. Um, we have had to make quite a few concessions in the past as far as attendance goes because of course our main priority is taking care of the patients. But we feel that we have um, succeeded in building a staff that's solid enough so that we don't have to make those concessions anymore and that we can hold each other accountable to the same standard. That's very important for us. That way we're not feeling that, well, why does so-and-so, you know, get to call off and, and, and still have a job or never show up or leave halfway? No, we're all going to be held accountable for the same amount of points and the same amount of um repercussions. So a good thing about this is you have the opportunity to make your points back. So if you are picking up a shift um, or you are um, attending any of the extra clinical meetings a month, these are ways that you can make up those points because I get it. We have things that come up in our lives that are emergencies, that are personal. Sometimes we need a personal day, a mental health day. And I get it, that is fine. I understand that people, you know, things come up, um, but we do have to be responsible for that and how often it happens. So this is just, again, another diplomatic way that we can maintain um, accountability and mutual respect and trust and um, empower ourselves to be present in our jobs, okay? So attendance. Um, the last thing I want to touch on, a second to last thing, is assignments. So there's been a lot of um, talk and I guess you could say uh, high emotions when it comes to assignments and halls and units. Um, bottom line is we are here to do a job and take care of our residents. Uh, there is never any sort of intentional... Um, um, gosh, how can I say this? Nobody is intentionally moving people around in the facility um, out of spite or anger or punishment. Bottom line is we have to take care of these residents. The only people that are allowed to change assignments are Shalene, Erin, Gail, and myself. Um, and the reason for this is because there's a reason. Um, and we see that that reason is fit. Um, whether it's we've had a call off and we promised a certain haul to somebody or it just the plain fact that we know so-and-so likes to work on this haul or, you know, they, they're more productive on this haul or it's never intentional that we're, we're doing this for spite. So, um, always I want to maintain continuity of care. That's very important in this industry um, and I also want people to love what they do and love coming to work and, and feel good about it. And with that being said, I know people have favorite units and favorite halls um, and we try, we honestly try to put you on that hall or put you in your favorite section and, and try to maintain that con continuity. Sometimes we can't. Sometimes there are instances that come up and we need you on this hall or it's mid hall and somebody left and I have to pull you and put you here. Bottom line, you come in, you sign up for that shift, you're scheduled to work those hours. It may be on south, it may be on north. Um, and that's really the extent of it is, is the unit and the hall. Um, again, we are always trying to place people on the units that they enjoy working on um, and maintain continuity of care. So what I'm going to ask is the bottom line 
is if you are switched to one of your less favorite halls or positions, that you take it with a grain of salt and you smile and you work your shift with good energy and then you go home and you can gripe about it. Um, or fill out a grievance form and tell me, you know, hey, I really prefer working on this hall or I feel like this was done intentionally. And we can sit down and talk about it. But um, please understand that we are trying to run a business here. We are trying to take care of our residents. Um, we are limited in what we have available, um, as you all may know. And um, it really just makes for a better work environment. Okay, so assignments. Um, please maintain them. If, for instance, it's the weekend and a nurse, you know, has concerns about their assignments or somebody didn't show up or anything, please call the on-call nurse so that you can work it out together. I'm not necessarily saying you need to get permission, but um, express what your concern is. Again, we only want the best for our residents and understand that maybe there is a specific reason that that change had to happen. Um, just know that in the bottom of our hearts, it's not malicious or intentional um, or spiteful, okay? Um, last and final thing is Tuesday. So we have our clinical meeting on Tuesday, and I have excellent news for nurses. We have and are now the proud owners of our own bladder scanner. So thanks to Molly and everybody else, we have obtained a bladder scanner. It is the Wendy Smith Memorial Bladder Scanner. So when I leave, everybody can know that this was my legacy, but I'm not leaving. Um, and I'm going to figure out how to use it. And then on Tuesday, I'd like to roll that out to the nurses. We are gonna keep it under lock and key so that it's available to you, but also secure. It's a very expensive piece of equipment. It is going to help us reduce uh, send outs to the hospital and maintain that urinary tract health the way that we should. So I'm very excited about that. I would also love to open up that time at those meetings for um, any CNAs that need to take the test. Um, I sent a message out to you. November 20th is the cutoff date for taking the test. I will find out the specific dates and times that are available and the locations, um, but I wanna open that platform to anybody that might need a little bit of help with studying. We can do some test bank questions, we can go over some of the skills, and just again, empower each other to do the best we can with what we do. You know, we have wonderful careers ahead of us, and you know, I take a, a huge honor in being a part of that and strengthening the colleagues around me and, and allowing myself to be open to being strengthened by you guys. Okay, so that's it. This is one take. Happy Friday. Um, let me know if you watch this. Come Tuesday for the bladder scanner um, tutorial. Uh, grievance forms, use them. Attendance, make sure you know our policy and assignments. Stay, stay true. Have a great day and weekend.